Mike, today's the first day we put in third down. The quarterbacks look very good. Justin Jefferson makes some, some, makes some big plays. Uh, some screens, some short passes, some deep balls. He's, had, he's having an outstanding camp. Uh, John Emery has made some big plays. So has Tyron Davis. But Clyde Edwards and Larry been phenomenal with the football. The group I'm most proud of is the offensive line. I do believe our offensive line right now, right now at this point of camp is the most improved group. They're blocking, they're protecting. Uh, no one's hurt. They're going through camp. They're tough. We have great leadership with Lloyd in there. Our tackles have improved, so I'm really pleased with them. I'm really pleased with Thaddeus Moss. He's practiced every practice. Him and Tory Carter are very tough. Stephon Sullivan's practicing at tight end, looking very good. Uh, Racy McMath is having a good camp. Uh, along with Jamar Chase and Terrence Moss, those guys are ready to go. Uh, Devontae Lee, we went big cat today. He's a physical, physical receiver. Uh, catches every ball, has shown some signs of being an outstanding player. Joe's having an excellent camp, and so is Miles. On defense, uh, we banged up on defense. We've got a lot of guys out right now, which is uh, things of guys we're going to get back. But I wish they could be there in every rep, just like the offensive line is to get better. But uh, on the defensive line, Terrell Cherry today had an excellent day. He's playing inside, outside. Tyler Shelman is going through every rep the last couple of days. Very tough practice. Shows that he's in good condition, not great condition. Uh, shows Apolike, those guys are showing up. They're extending, continues to have one great camp. Uh, Cornell Flott, uh, Jay Ward, Greg Darius, those guys are outstanding. Mo Hampton showed today, makes a plays. And then Cade York has had a phenomenal camp so far. Any questions? You mentioned all the offensive line improvement. Is anybody in particular really taking a leap there? Well, I think the tackles are the ones. You know, I, I knew that Lloyd would uh, have a good camp, no question. Damian Lewis, they had a great summer. Uh, Sadiq has really improved on his pass protection. He's in shape. Uh, they worked his technique. He's changed his technique a little bit. Again, Coach Craig worked all summer. Uh, Research and develop of what was going wrong. We'll talk to some guys, and I think that uh, he's had a great camp, Coach Craig, myself. And, uh, you know, Austin Douglas had to finish. He had to finish more. He's in better shape. He's probably the best shape he has. So those guys have a good camp right now. Steve probably didn't have the year that he wanted last year. Was there, was that? Steve probably didn't have the year he wanted last year. Was there something that maybe we didn't know about holding him back? Who's that? Sadiq. Uh, you know, no, he had to fix his technique. I think he's in better shape now. Uh, nothing was holding back. It was just kind of technique. Get better, get older, a great mindset. What of his technique that he uh, kind of researched to improve? I think it's fast protection. You know, it was you, know, you got to, you got to block those guys coming off the edge. Now he, you know, he went one on one with Kevin Ryan, one someone with Kevin Ryan. So he's been very, very uh, consistent on the things that we teach him. Coach, what are you seeing, Peter Parrish? Good quarterback, good young man. Had a ways to go. Um, you know, just like everybody else, it's a new offense, new timing for him. Very athletic. Uh, had a good 60-yard run, a dual-threat quarterback, great young man. Is there any you update the with D. Anderson? Huh? With D. Anderson, is there any update there? Uh, still the same. Still the same. You said on the radio this morning all the injuries are mild. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Calf injuries, you know, sprained here, sprained there. Uh, guys should be coming back. Nothing that uh, is going to keep somebody out too long. Uh, yeah, I've really seen you coaching the defensive line. Uh, yeah. Is that because you know how good they can be and you're not seeing it, or is there work? No, I just think that's just the method. It's just the way I've coached the defensive line, and I think that those guys play a very bottom position. You have to be in great shape in the first contact. Uh, that we have to learn how to attack. We can sit back reading. Uh, that takes a different mentality. Live in the backfield, make your plays, running down stuff. So I just try to get the mentality down. Once I get that down, I think that. Uh, Kenichi will have to take over along with uh, Christian Akachor, and I can be more of a hands on head coach. So you want more aggressiveness from yes. them? That's, that's what we're looking for. That's, I got to teach it. We, we haven't done that for three years here, so I got to teach it. I got to get it ready. I haven't seen uh, Jamal Pettigrew yet this camp. Is there an update on him? Yeah, uh, he's, uh, he's not coming back yet, but uh, I think that uh, I, don't know, I don't know exactly when he's going to come back. I talked to him today, but it won't be soon. Is it an injury or? Uh, oh, the injury had to summer. Ed, you said um, the other day um, Rashard Lawrence said his conditioning wasn't where it needed to be. Yeah. Today, was that a, today or does sure. he have an injury? Yeah, yeah he had to take the day off. Well, he'd been pushing it very hard. Uh, didn't want to injure his leg at all. Uh, you know, he 
he's sore a little bit, but uh, I think that it's just he needs some rest on it. You running backs, you got such talent in the young ones, and kind of a you know, proven guy in Clyde. Uh, how would you like to use those guys? We've seen a lot of passing skills. Yeah. Yo, I, I want those to climb, those guys to climb the charts, uh, just like we did with Joe. Our due respect to the football team. Uh, you know, the scrimmage is going to be big. Uh, Lenard is doing some good things. Uh, Chris is doing some good things. So. And we're just going to let them compete, uh, work them in a significant place, and give them a chance to scrimmage. But I won't say this, they've been excellent so far. They have not disappointed. We saw a move that Emory made uh, yeah. in practice. Is, is that his potential? Uh, yeah, it was about 15 or more that they did post. Grant, Grant Delpit at SEC <laughs> Media Day said that um, all he has to do is think about the Florida game and the Texas A&M game from last year to be motivated. Is it just human nature that those games stay with you more than the Georgia game and the Auburn game? Yeah, yeah, no question. I, I, I do believe this team understands this is a new year, uh, block out the noise, but they do understand that the margin of error to get where we want to go is a lot smaller this year. We can't make the same mistakes we made in those games to win those football games. So we're practicing like that. They're studying like that. Uh, the leaders are approaching the camp like that, the season like that. And I really appreciate that out to you. Hey, you mentioned Justin Jefferson. Is his consistency what you like most about that guy? Or, I mean, it seems like he's always – yeah, his ability to catch the ball, his route running, uh, the way we're using him now, we're using him a lot more in a short passing game, uh, more screens, uh, get the ball in his hand, let him make plays in space. And I think he's just matured. He, he smelled He must have a great year. You mentioned After this morning that Chase and Hines was getting snaps at center. Yeah. Is, is Charles Turner coming back at, at yeah, any time yeah, soon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Charles is going to be is gonna be back in the next week or so. But having a uh, have the second team center leave like he did, he kind of left us a little hole. So if something goes down with uh, Lloyd right now, Chase Allen would have to be the second center. And with the scrimmage on Saturday, obviously there's an acclimatization period. Like yeah. how, how does, with all the bang ups and things like that, yeah. how do you manage that going into that? Well, those guys, uh, those guys are going to, you know, it's going to take a while for some of those guys. And uh, we're going to work them in. It's just regular camp, regular camp members. So how's, how's the team just building together, even though you have those injuries on defense? Awesome. The attitude is been phenomenal. You know, John Robinson with me, and he makes observations, and he says, Coach, they're looking, uh, they're observing everything, they're early to meetings, oh, there's enthusiasm. He said, I've never seen a team practice so hard. And, uh, the game's a lot faster, obviously, because they used to huddle. I told the team to get in the huddle down, they didn't know what a huddle is anymore. So. <laughs> but everything's a lot faster. And, the guys have been ha have a phenomenal attitude. I will, I'll say this to you. There's good leadership on this team, and we recruited some young men with some great care, so they blended, they blended in nice. What do you want to see Saturday? What, that? what do you want to see on Saturday? Uh, us protect the football. Block like we went blocking. Tackle on defense. Complete passes. Have uh, minimal penalties. I'll just play a good, solid, basic game. Are you calling penalties out there? Well, that, Have you been calling penalties in practice? Oh, yeah, every, every practice. The referees out every practice. And by the way, I didn't say this. The SEC the officials are here today. Uh, the new deal that we started uh, in the SEC officials, uh, they'll spend two days in camp for everybody. And they've been very good. They've been in all our meetings. They have a film they're going to show us. They're watching our individuals. They meet with our coaches. Why are we calling it like this? Why are we calling it like that? The guys have been great. Behind Christian Fulton, it's a lot of freshmen right now. I guess, how are you feeling about your depth at cornerback? At quarterback, yeah. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I think Christian will be back soon. I think that, you know, Jay Ward made some outstanding plays out there. Now, so is Cornell Flop. Uh, you know, we always have Kerry can put there, so we're in good shape. Yeah, that's Bo Hampton. We need to put Bo Hampton like he can play there. He made a bunch of plays today. With, with Fulton coming back from his foot, is it still bad? Is it still lingering for him? Well, that, but with Fulton's you foot. You're big on the Avengers today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of them. <laughs> What about Derek Stingley's standing out? Now, I mean, you had a little bit of him, but now you got him full time. Again, Stingley, what's what's kind of standing out for him? That's Athletic ability and maturity. You know, his dad's coached him. Corey's done a great job. His dad is always there with him. And I, I came in the summer on Saturday and Sunday. Him and his daddy are working. The guy's a phenomenal worker. He's mature. He doesn't say a word. He, he can compete. He can catch the ball. He's great with his hands. Great punt returner. Just a good all-around athlete. Did you watch any of the uh, Hall of Fame on Saturday? Did you I watched Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. What were your thoughts just watching it? Well, I, I thought, first of all, he was a phenomenal speaker. Uh, very proud. Uh, 
I showed his part uh, to the team, what, we, what he said about LSU. Uh, just uh, a great member of the Tigers. I hope he comes home with us one day. You, you were talking this morning about Damone Clark and how he was pushing for the starting yeah. job. I mean, yeah. how has he progressed? He's doing it. He's doing it. He's pushing. He's pushing. And uh, they're competing. Uh, so is Patrick. I thought uh, Jacob Stephen had the best day today. Jacob Phillips excuse me, had the best day today. Those three guys are battling for that position right now. Well, what is Clark as a player? What do you see in him? Uh, you know, he's big and he's strong. Uh, very good movement skill. Uh, he, he, you know, he had to learn how to play linebacker. The key diagnosed, he's worked very hard to do that. He's probably one of the best guys in the weight room. He's in best condition. Uh, he's, a very, he's a rare athlete for his size. You talked about Burrow kind of earning it, the trust. How important do you think that is in paying off now? He's kind of the unquestioned leader, I guess. Yes. Well, you know, he doesn't have to lead by uh, by saying a lot of things. Uh, when it gets tough, he'll lead them. Uh, he leads by example in his work, the way he's leading the offense. Uh, him and Joe Brady and Steve are behind the huddle, uh, talking. I hear, I hear the terminology. It's like all three of them are brothers are on the same staff. It's just a great mix. What's the time frame on Hampton getting the uh, cast off? I don't know that yet. Uh, I don't know. I need to ask Jack. I think it's going to be a while. Ed, I know it, it's not a game or anything, but how, how did Cade York put it so far? Phenomenal. Really good. Picked up where last year left on Yeah. You know, uh, obviously he's got to do it in front of some people. But right now, very, very impressive. A strong leg, a very accurate. He's doing good. He's a good kid, too. And you have more yeah, for Coach. On the O line, you have some positions that are set pretty, pretty well, but you got some battles too. Yeah. It's very early in camp, but how, how do you feel with those? Yeah, I, I think left door is going to be Adrian McGee or Chase on Hines. You know, uh, Cordell Thomas has had a shot. He's, he's missed a couple of uh, a practice of just a minor injury, so he wasn't able to compete in that position yet. Maybe he'll come along. I think the uh, young offensive line look really good, but that's the position on the offensive line. But Dora Troy was the guy that was saying, listen, man, he's got to be a third tackle coming in, and we feel like he's had an excellent camp.